this is Ben at Truly Simple Solutions and today we're going to take a look at the new credit cards ability in Flatrate Pro that came out with version 2.2 so we're on the new home screen we're just going to jump to preferences and there's a new QuickBooks and credit cards tabs so go to credit cards and this is where you would set up your preferences and you you purchase the 360 Works plugin from this link. And they'll give you a license key and who it's registered to. You fill that in and have your authorized.net merchant account and transaction key, which there's links for both of those. And enter it in and then you can you can also run in test mode or live once you know that it's working. So we'll go ahead to an invoice I've got over here and we're going to go ahead you can this is the new button credit card that'll create a payment but I'm going to jump to the payments tab it'll do it from either place but I'm going to go here so we'll see the new payment come in so you just uh, click on that you'll enter a card number and a date and a transaction amount which you can see it's it's defaulting to what the balance on the invoice is and um, so in this case we'll go with that and the code and then it shows payment successful for 1054.65 say OK and you can see it's got a transaction reference number entered and shows it's paid and if you've got the QuickBooks module, you can click Post, and it will post it in a QuickBooks running on Windows. So for us Mac users, um, I'll show you some videos using the um, using VMware, which lets you run um, QuickBooks for Windows and run a, a PC on the Mac, which is the simplest way. Now there's one other feature on the credit card is if you hold the Shift key and then click it'll let you do a refund on that credit card so you could either do a smaller dollar amount or if you had to refund the whole sale for some reason you could do that so we'll just do one of those and in this case we'll refund a hundred dollars and it says credit card refund for a hundred dollars and then that comes in in Flatrate Pro it shows as a negative payment but in uh, QuickBooks if you were to post it it's going to show it as a credit memo of that dollar amount and that's basically um, how it all works thank you for using Flatrate Pro with Truly Simple Solutions and we'll see you again soon with some more videos